be close to me. Come on. Good evening, everyone. Hi, I'm with my PJ. <laughs> okay. Hello. Good evening, everybody. So we're going to comment on the gospel for March 1st. Sit up. March 1st. Tomorrow's already March 1st, Thursday. February is gone. By tonight, February is gone. So tomorrow is March 1st. And the gospel comes from St. Luke, chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. Again, it's a very long gospel. It tells us the story of Lazarus. Lazarus is a poor man who um, stayed at the door of this uh, very rich man. Okay? Lazarus was a poor man who was uh, inflicted with so many wounds. He was... Uh, destitute he was uh, very much in need um, and uh, this rich man was pompous was uh, living in luxury uh, have, had everything he needed he was clothed in purple robes and etc etc and in all of his prosperity he could not even uh, as much as provide any help to the poor man Lazarus who waited day in and day out by his door okay? so there's an image here that jesus wants us to um to picture a poor man a poor man just right there by the door of this rich man's house day in and day out and this rich man never paid heed but never he gave attention to him Never paid attention to his needs, to the needs of Lazarus. So, in the end, both of them died. Lazarus goes to heaven, and this rich man goes to hell. Okay? And uh, Jesus says here that, well, Lazarus had nothing in his lifetime, and now he's being rewarded heavenly glory. And uh, you, uh, Mr. Rich Man, had everything you needed on earth. Okay? You couldn't even give anything to this poor man, Lazarus. Well, you know. Now you suffer in hell for your lack of charity. So, um, what I want to comment today about this gospel is that many times people can be so concerned about doing charity, okay, doing big things, donating big things to people who are far away from them. Many times uh, we think of, uh, oh, you know, let's donate. Let's donate money to charity. Let's give food to uh, St. Vincent de Paul. Okay? Oh, let's uh, donate our used clothing to the needy. Uh, used jackets to uh, those, uh, the homeless people who are cold. Oh, let's, uh, let's uh, pack our uh, used clothes and let's donate them to the Philippines. Or let's, let's send money to uh, the poor children uh, in, in Africa, in Nairobi, Kenya, or wherever it is. Right? Third world country. But many times we fail to realize that our neighbor who is most in need is actually just outside our door. Like this rich young man. I mean, not rich young man. <laughs> like this rich man. The neighbor whom he needed to aid and help was just outside of his door. But his richness, his luxury, has blinded him to the needs of people. That guy, Lazarus, was just right outside his door. He could have been kicking him on his way out, right? But he never paid heed. He never paid attention to Lazarus the poor man so what our Lord is teaching us here is that our charity should begin with those who are closest to us to our own family our own brothers and sisters these are the first people we have to extend our charity to okay? these are the first people that we need to be charitable to these are the first people we need to notice it is our own brothers and sisters, our own parents, those who live with us, those who are close to us, are the very first ones we should minister to. Now, 
What are the three, I, I, I have three things that I think we should pay attention to as far as the needs of ministering to the needs of others is concerned. Three A's. A number one, we need to give attention to people. A number two, we need to give affection to people. A number three, the third A, we need to affirm people more. So what do I mean by this? What does it mean to give attention to people? <coughs> hmm? You know, nowadays, that's the reason why I don't allow you to have cell phones at home. Nowadays, many families don't even talk to each other. And if they, in, they in fact, talk to each other, they talk to each other through text messages. <laughs> See? How funny is that? They're in the same room, they're in the same house, and they talk to each other through their gadgets. Right? Very, very bad. Very bad syndrome of lack of attention to the needs of others. Okay? We should not do that. We will not do that. We cannot do that to people, especially to our own families. We have to pay attention to the needs of our own brothers and sisters, to our own wives and husbands, okay? to the people who live close to us. And it doesn't have to be big things. Sometimes you, you, you might, uh, your brother or your sister might need some help in schoolwork, right? Maybe there's something that he or she does not understand and you can be of help. Maybe it's just the simple thing of passing the salt, or passing a condiment at table. Well, you know very well that maybe you can uh, help your sister or brother uh, um, with that little thing. You notice that, oh, maybe he needs more rice. And you pass the rice without being asked. Right? Or maybe, maybe uh, you can see that your brother or your sister needs some help doing a chore. Well, pay attention to the needs of the others even if they are not soliciting our help or our uh, 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 attention. Provide it. Provide it. That is where, that's the first line of our charity. Pay attention to the people around us. Number two, the second A. Give affection. Give affection to the people around you. Okay? Many times, many times it's just a question of, Giving a hug or giving a kiss. Yeah, get a kiss. Or, <laughs> or, saying, or saying a kind word. Okay? Or saying a word of consolation to those who, who are around us. Show them. Let us not be afraid to show them some affection. To show them some love. Okay? Everybody. Everybody needs loving. Everybody needs affection. Let us not be stingent. Okay? Stringy, in, in, stingy, rather, in, uh, in giving affection to those closest to us. Okay? To those closest to us. Third A, affirmation. Affirmation. Okay? Don't get me wrong. Okay? This is not the, uh, I don't mean the kind of affirmation of clapping for everybody's mediocre work. Okay? <laughs> or, or even if somebody didn't do a good job, we always say, oh, good job, good job, everybody. That is the that is the uh, uh, that is not the kind of affirmation I refer to. Okay, but rather it is to affirm to affirm people when they do a good job, a real good job, when they behave correctly, when they behave properly, when they do things well. Let us affirm them. When they exhibit good behavior, let us exhibit that affirmation. Let's tell them openly, sincerely. That we appreciate the good thing they do for us. Okay? And because that is going to encourage them to do more good towards others. Okay? If we don't uh, recognize the good works that they do, well, they, don't, they won't get encouraged to do even better. Okay? So it is not a false, a false sense of, uh, of uh, congratulations even if they do mediocre work. No, that's not what I mean. Okay? Uh, what I mean is to affirm them when they sincerely and truly do a good job with what they do, especially when it comes to behaving properly. 
Okay? Especially when it comes to moral, good moral behavior. When they deserve praise, praise them. Okay? It is not a false praise that we, we offer people just to make them feel good. Well, that's the wrong kind of making them feel good. Okay? And, uh, but that's a very common trend nowadays, in, especially in schools. Okay? They, they, they praise everybody even if they don't do good. But that's not what we mean. Okay? Praise people for doing a good job and encourage them to continue doing a good job, especially in their behavior. Okay, so those are the three A's that we can keep in mind. Okay, and that will be the first line of our charity. What's the first A? Attention. Give attention. Pay attention. Second A? Affection. Affection. Okay, and third A? Affirmation. 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 Okay, very good. So that's going to be the gospel for uh, for tomorrow, folks. Uh, before before we end before we end tonight, may I ask may I ask everybody and uh, whoever else is listening, may I ask you to please pray for a cousin of mine, okay, Ronnie, Uncle Ronnie, who uh, passed away last night. He was battling cancer, but didn't quite make it. Uh, so let us pray for uh, his wife Becky. Also, let's pray for the repose of the soul of Ronnie. Let's pray for uh, Becky, his, uh, his wife. Um, and let's pray for uh, the siblings of Ronnie and his dad, uh, uh, Emil, that they may all be consoled uh, despite the loss of uh, their brother, their brother Ronnie. So, uh, Is dad still alive? Yeah. Huh? Is dad still alive? Yes, yeah, yeah. Grandpa Emil is still alive, yeah. Okay, folks. Have a good uh, night, everybody. I hope we all have a good sleep. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.